Happy NFL Draft Eve, everyone. For the next three days, all 32 teams will be selecting young talent, and that includes a number of East Texans that, hey, we've been telling you about over the past couple of weeks. Garrett Sanders breaks down some of the best from the Piney Woods that wait to hear their names called. The show must go on in the NFL Draft, and once again, East Texas appears to be well represented. Let's start in Waco, where Baylor has been at the forefront of accumulating Piney Woods talent for the past few years. Definitely feel like East Texas All-Star team. I mean, you had, you know, 10, 15 guys who were all contributing factors on the team. Headlining the Baylor draft class and possibly East Texas as a whole is former Dangerfield wide receiver Denzel Mims, who is currently being projected as a first-round selection. I definitely think, you know, he he did well for himself and put himself in a great situation, you know, uh, to move to the next level. Former Longview running back Jermichael Hasty made the most of every carry with the Bears and has been able to overcome injuries in high school and the collegiate level. I really just think that going through it, I think it built character and um, I actually I am glad that I went through it um, because it turned me to who I am now. Gilmer's Blake Lynch played five different positions at Baylor and believes his overall athleticism will be an asset to any team's linebacking core. At the end of the day, uh, I'm just ready for the opportunity. Scouts, they watch the tape, and uh, the eye in the sky don't lie. On the 40 acres, former Nacogdoches Dragon Brandon Jones has used his time in the offseason to showcase his film study. is projected by many as the fourth best safety in this class. Overall, just wanting to be great, um, kind of not scared of anybody, willing to take on anything, any challenge, and kind of be the best version of myself. The model of East Texas consistency and durability can be found at Texas Tech, where former Longview defensive end Broderick Washington played in 43 games as a Red Raider and started every game as a senior. There's been times I've been banged up, but I feel like it's just a mental thing. Like, I love the game. I feel like um, I pretty much won't let anything stop me. Over in Aggieland, Frankston wideout Kendrick Rogers was part of some of the best moments in recent A&M football history. I just felt like I was I was ready, and I felt like I, I can show my talent at the next level, and it's just been a long time dream, so I wanted to test the waters and show, show what I could do. These are uncertain times for many reasons, but these athletes, along with others, still have the chance to hear their names called and join the fraternity of East Texans in the NFL. Garrett Sanders, KETK Sports.